Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So a little bit ago I put out a video which was the acrylic pour through a grip mat and that was kind of my first time playing with it. It's part of the Dollar Store series. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it in the description so please check that out. And a couple ideas that I had were to cover the canvas with white first or a color first then pour over because I had trouble getting full coverage. Um, and also just to do more of a controlled pour. So I'm not going to cover the canvas with white, but I am going for a controlled pour today. So we're going to start with that. And I'm going to just be very careful on my edges just to make sure I go over the edges and get all the spots that I want. So I'll explain the colors as I go. Everything is mixed with Floetrol and water. Floetrol is a paint conditioner for anybody who's new. And all materials and ratios, mixing ratios, will be in the description. So please, please, please check the description before asking questions because if they weren't answered in the video, more often than not, they're answered in the description. All right. So that green was Artist Loft Flow Acrylics uh, mixed to make that green. And this is yellow Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. I'm going to throw a little bit of white in here. And you'll kind of see what I'm going for pretty shortly. I should want to overlap some of that yellow with green. Whoops. <laughs> All right, off to a good start. Okay, so we're gonna go in here with some orange. This is a custom color that I made. So couldn't exactly tell you what's in it. Okay, next we're going to go in with some red, which is also Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. I'm overlapping these colors. I like my newer squeeze bottles because the spouts work. On my older bottles, the spouts are all clogged. And I'm not putting down a lot of paint, guys. This may look like a lot, but it's really not. Okay, then this is the Artist Loft Metallic Purple, which is almost empty. All right. Time to replenish some of my bottles. And I actually don't even have any blue, so we're not going with any blue. I'm going to get in here with a little bit of pink. This is a neon pink, and I do not remember which brand I think it's either deco art or folk art. All right, a little more white. Kind of just all over. And it's not fully covered. So any spots where it doesn't look like it's covered, that's because it's not. So I'm gonna help it along on those spots with my finger and I don't mind if I'm blending some of the colors here. And I will add probably a little bit more paint, but we do have a decent amount of paint on here. So I think just blending them and filling in those spots will help. Oh, you know, I forgot gold. I want some gold. Okay. That should do it. So I have been playing around with this a little bit off camera, but basically you can get some just some really cool effects just with this grip mat and just by the factor of pouring through it. I will be trying probably a few more things like pulling up from the corners as if it was like the bubble wrap. Okay, lastly, I'm going to top off the very top up here with some black. So if you can see, we're kind of going for, this is like grass and then we have a sunset and it's going into night up here. Um, so I'm going to just pull from the bottom straight up. And hopefully I, it looks like I got all the spots covered. If not, I'm not going to stress too much about it. 
can always tap out those spots later. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Love it. So a couple spots I missed up here at the top. Not a lot. And this can be tilted at this point. Just gonna get all the sides covered. Try not to mix the colors too much on the sides. If you want to be really specific, you can, um, you know, just touch up the sides per color. Right, I'm gonna tilt a little bit here. And this just gives a really unique color, or pattern rather. Um, and I think this can make amazing backgrounds. I'll run off a little bit on this end over here. And then I'm going to go back just a little bit. Cool. So I am very happy with that. Now a few other things you could do at this point. You could take a straw and blow it out. Maybe add some flowers in there. This paint is kind of thick, so I would probably wait until it dries to add anything on top. Um, if you wanted to add flowers right now, they'd pretty much just sink into the paint. But you could do like a balloon smash. There's a lot of options. Let's go ahead and let this sit for a little while, and then we'll do a close-up. All right, starting in the lower right-hand corner here. So you can see that cool pattern that came out of this. It's almost like a funky way to do a swipe. And I'm sure if you added silicone to this, oh, that's going to have to be another experiment. You can get some really cool things. But even just look at, like, this got some cool cells and, like, almost like lacing in there. It's just really cool. There's like endless possibilities. So I'm going to have to go back to the dollar store and get me some more grip, grip mat. And I do also have plans for the actual mat itself. So stay tuned for that coming up. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. You know what? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next. Is there a particular technique you would like to see? More of the dollar store series? Anything. Just let me know down in the comments and I'll see you all next time.